Good evening, and welcome to another Downing Street Briefing. I'm going to start by bringing you up to speed with the latest data. We are now on phase 42 of lockdown, and finally start to get COVID under control. We have managed to successfully get Brexit done, and are unleashing our beautiful country's potential. This will allow more citizens to have beautiful new blue passports, and unleash our potential. In other news, vaccine doses are rising, coronavirus cases are falling, and sick forms, sick forms can assemble. Welcome to St. Columbus Sixth Form. I am Mr. Waters, I'm the head of Sixth Form. And this is a place where we really try and create a, a college within a college. We look after the academic standards of the students very carefully, but with very small class sizes, and our pastoral care is second to none. My name is Mr. Shields, and I'm the deputy head of Sixth Form. I'm stood outside the Sixth Form office, but myself and Mr. Waters can be found. Our door is always open. Characterful, lethargic, intelligent, awkward, and memorable, capable, a total pain, probably confiscating a football <laughs> daily, twice daily, three times daily, and uh, I have a lot more free time. I think there's so many strong characters and there's such a lot of talent and just getting to know you over the last two terms, it'd be a bit weird really, um, you not being here and I think I'll just miss that sort of, um, that presence across the year group. Breaking down those walls. Working with the map. I think if I were to pick on one thing, it, it, it's a bit of a funny answer, but it, it's just I suppose chatting to people in small groups um, in the in the common room, just getting to know people on a one-to-one -one level. I think the biggest challenge is to try and give people some sense of certainty in a period of massive uncertainty. Ollie McKee. Have fun, make the most of life. Don't worry too much. Never undersell yourselves. You're capable of a lot. If it's worth working hard for, do it. Treat women well. Always. Absolutely. Just really happy. Some days. I'm the Pizza Express in Woking. Here is our six form cafe. The boys in the sixth form make great use of this at lunch and break, as well as their free periods, getting a wide range of healthy snacks. We emphasise the importance of health eating and how the food we eat can affect our mood, our focus and our academic progress. I'm stood outside Founders Hall. This is the common room where our sixth formers can unwind at break and lunch time when they're not studying. No, 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 this way, this way, study room. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our quarter-finals of our chair jingle. I'm one of your commentators, Aaron Hobb, and I'm with... Your co-commentator, Tom, live from the Sixth Form Centre. And as you can see, our managers are talking to our people. We see uh, Ahmed Zaga and Harry Lewis, he's helping him out. He's looking at those triangles, get those angles in. No practice in there. We move over to Will and Billy. This is their third time making it to the quarter-finals since chair, since chair Jenga began in 2004. And we've got Paul McLeod, he's helping out Henry with if that's help. Those guys are maths whizzes and I'm looking to see, expect great things from them.
Okay, so now our first play's been down. Henry Burton is putting the chair down. Lovely positioning on that one. I will say, strong start. Everyone's applauding you. Great work from him. We're now on to Will. Obviously, the, the early chairs are going to be the easiest. He's, but he's going to try and make it as hard as possible for his next opponent. Oh, the manager loved that one. What a brilliant play. Harry Lewis is now considering his options. What will he do? Oh, he's going on top of it. That is tricky if he can get it right. If he can get it right, the next person may be screwed. This is... Can he do it? Harry is probably our most technical player in the four-way duel. He is. His precision is just unmatched. Look at that. I don't think many other players would try for that. He really does go out his way to make oh, it. Oh, and he's done it. And he's done it. That's crazy. Wow. Ahmed Hargreaves is so Can happy with that. Moon, yeah. Can he do it? Oh my God, he's done it. That is crazy. That's incredible play. Okay, we understand that you guys don't want to watch the boring bits, so we're going to skip to the good bits now. Has he done it? We can't see. Oh, he's done it. Oh my God, the paper went through so clean. That's incredible. That's an incredible play by Henry Burton. Right. Good manager can get your head straight in the game. The reward mm. they give you is second to none. We've seen it from Ahmed and we have, Harry's connection. Exactly they've been dominating. They really have. It's, oh, it's such a powerful duo. Oh, and they've done it. Well, that's done that's Harry cannot believe it. He knows he's going to have such a hard job next time to do to get this right. Look at those diagrams. They're really, it's quite technical, Connor is. He's making mm. sure that Aaron knows the ankles needs to go, knows the incline. And that's not saying how to good use. It is. Really showing what Columbus Maps department can do. If they can get someone into the course finals with the prestige chair Jenga, there's not much else they can do. Mm. Now, Harry's going on top, is that? And with one mistake and it could be over. Yeah. The nice on top, is that just nice and simple, nice and calm? Thinks he's done it. Oh, <gasps> oh my god, a big, a big wobble. Ahmed, oh my, Ahmed's in disarray. He wants to go through. However, Harry's going to have to do a big job to save this. Clutch it, clutch it. I think it's safe. Has he done it? Oh my god, he's done it. Incredible. Literally that's incredible play. That is, that's phenomenal, really. Oh, that's hard. <gasps> oh my god, it's fallen. Jeez, oh my god. Harry Lewis is out. The chairs are fallen on his go. That is crazy. Can we see a replay of that, please? Look, so stable, so stable. And then. The celebration and then it just goes down oh my god Aaron Patel cannot believe it look at him Harry Lewis in tears already he knows that his shot the greatness is gone look at that that is crazy I've never seen some of the competition so close and such a small mistake costing everything it's over thank god <laughs> and that means our final three competitors are um, Henry Will and Aaron they're going through to the Semi-finals. Semi-finals. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. <laughs> and that's it. Thank you. We've been your commentators, Aaron Harbin and Tom Rich, and we'll see you for the semis. Thank see you. You are deluded. You are deluded. You are deluded. You are deluded. Hello. Um, hello. I'm, I'm Miss Steele, and welcome to the study room. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick tour. Uh, sorry about the mess, excuse this. Um, so this is where our A-level students meticulously study through every one of their study periods of the day. Um, come through here and you should be able to get a good idea of, you know, the general vibe of the study room and how it is. Everybody kind of getting along with their work as usual. Um, although there should be a few extra students in here. Boys, seriously, we're trying to make a good impression of the school. What are you doing? Sorry about that. Um, I'm just going to head back to my desk now and get on with all the hard work that I, I, I always do. We're now going to visit some of our A-level classes and see some of our students really working hard. The head of our classics department is Mr Graves. Mr Graves holds degrees in law and classics, a Cambridge alumnus, and has had careers in law, marketing and teaching to name but a few. He is a truly wise and dedicated man whom we are lucky to have. Toby, it's an indirect question. We need the pluperfect passive form of the verb. Can you construct that for me, please? Uh, uh, the verb to, uh, that would be the um, uh, infinitive plus and. Um... Stop, stop. Okay, uh, start you with something a little bit easier. How about the uh, accusative singular of a second clenched noun? Balloon, balloon, balloon. Please stop, please stop. This is form one Latin. Wilcox, accusative singular of the second clenched noun. Uh, oh, for goodness uh, sake! Uh, my gun! No, my gun! My gun!
Okay. <laughs> so the, the homework is going to be on show my homework. IT was in this class. Come on, chips, come on. Perfect. Thank you. George, what's this country here? Oh, uh, Afghanistan. Don't be daft. Come on, George. Riley, what is it? It's Russia, sir. Good, good. Okay. Um, uh, sir, I, I, I can't really see the board. Oh. Are you suggesting I'm getting chubby? No, 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 no. Don't be rude, George. Alright, perfect. Okay, so for the rest of the lesson, I want you to finish off those those maps. Oh. If you don't finish it, it's for homework. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Explain, what's that to explain? Yeah, it's, it's pretty. Well, what do you mean it's simple? It's just that, that's it. Well, that's what it's like, like it's that. If I you How do you explain it? This is why you're failing chemistry. You're so stupid. We're literally a further maths class and you can't do that. Right, if that's what you're Come on, what's the Nine plus one. Okay, so politics are all about rigorous debate and getting your point of view across. Um, let's go see how the latest lessons go. Not again, boys. For God's sake, this happens every time. Let's have visit 255, that enough. Yeah. Alabama! Property! God bless the United States of America! Alabama! Jesus says amen! The Bible says no fairness in life! Alabama! Let's back around to me, boys! Trump! 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 Mr. Roberts isn't even here yet. Oh, he's lost this. Oh, yeah, guys, it's been 15 minutes, we'll leave that to leave. Let's go. Okay, so you want to do this? Actually, let's do this in my office, okay? Here, coming. Yeah, so, rubber's good here, yeah? Uh, you know, I used to pay uh, prop for Jersey. Yeah, I was pretty good back in my day. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good, yeah. Uh, but one thing, can you play rugby on, on Saturday? Can I put you down? I, I don't play rugby, sir. Basketball, put you down for basketball. I, I don't, I don't okay, play. You're on the list for cricket now, okay? Yeah. I don't really play cricket. We don't take sport too seriously here. It's just a bit of fun. Come on, just come down and have some fun. Champions League final. Uh, here's lunchtime. It's time we got upper six for your lower six. What?
How do you feel to prove Colin McShane wrong? Yeah, McShane said as I shot. Yeah. I can't shoot threes. Yeah. But look at him, he can shoot a three right now. Oh, but he can't shoot threes. So Kelvin, can we get quick into you? Can we get quick into you for the leavers video. When I dunk, yeah. don't be surprised. Right. What? Oh. James, as rugby captain, what are some of your favourite moments? Apart from the rare event of getting more than five people to training, the best moment was probably Harry Price getting handed off in a sevens tournament, which ended up leaving a handprint on his chest for about four weeks. Mm. Uh, we've had a few good seasons, two undefeated ones, including this year where we didn't actually play a game, but we can leave that out. Uh, but apart from that, it's been a good year, good uh, few years with the boys. It's going to be sad to see them go. What would you say your favourite moment was in the basketball team? Uh, probably Ollie McKee getting his ankles broken in the County Cup final. Who would you say the, your best player was? Um, I don't know, it's a tough one. Probably Chris Cavalli Warby was our most effective player. And your best coach? Um, probably Mr. Livesey. Any reason? Uh, it's just a good year. <laughs> What's your favourite cricket moment? Well, in Form 2, uh, we won the Justuk final against Stabs at their home ground. Everyone performed well. Riley put them with the fibre. I got 40 odd. Couple, and people were going to leave the next year, so everyone did well. Some good memories, so yeah, always dependable. What was the most amount of runs you've ever scored? At school? Yeah. Let's not put that in. <laughs> so you want me to do an impression of James Deeks? Yeah. Who's James Deeks? The other deputy boy. Uh, right. The leaders of our school student community are the sixth form prefects. They can be relied upon to be reliable, trustworthy, steadfast, sensible individuals. Welcome to the inaugural Columban Grand Prix here in St Albans for the 2021 race. The 0.26 mile long track of 8 corners, 5 to the left and 3 to the right, with sprint time taken at full throttle being at speeds of around 5 miles per hour, averaging an elevation of around 98 metres above sea level. Starting along the science block straight, the drivers will race up with the Iona roundabout before passing the Simpson block. From there they will cross the playground towards the tunnel before racing around the tower block heading back across the playground to the finish line. Here's the starting grid then, George Hall on pole with Johnny Camarchi on the front row with him, Will Russell Page starting in third and Benjamin Howes bringing up the rear. Let's head over to the grid where the racers are getting ready for the race.
Alright, what have you got next? Double art, Will. Double art. Where's George? At the end of last year, we were sad to say goodbye to Mr McCann, who's moved over to the prep school. We were sad to see him go. However, we've been very fortunate to be joined by Mr Waters, who's made an invaluable contribution, and we're looking forward to having around for a very long time to come. Right, gents, new orders for an anonymous higher up. Our objective is to recapture the target. He's going to be moving down south from the CCF classroom down between the English block and the science block. Weapons are a last resort. We have to take him in alive and unharmed at all costs. We've got, we'll have two, we'll have, top, we'll have a spotter centered here, just outside the science block, and the rest of us will be arranged, arranged around here. And my signal will intercept, nab him, and take him. Nice, quick, clean, and simple. What have you got? I'm hacking into the mainframe. I'm breaching the firewall. I'm at 97%. I'm in. Establishing a video feed now. Target's on the move. You need to go. Roger. Right, target's two minutes out and closing, or window is increasing. Let's get moving, boys. Target acquisition is heading towards you, Bravo Charlie. All units, operation is a go. Engage, engage, engage. Go on, 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 go on,
I've chosen, without any outside pressure, to return as head of sixth form. I never should have left.